So Qualcomm has announced the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. We know that, we know its specifications, got a video about it here on this channel. What we haven't had until now is any performance data, any benchmarking information. Well, that is now available and the numbers are quite revealing. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Now there aren't any smartphones available yet, Sony, OnePlus, Xiaomi, whoever, but each year Qualcomm build what's called the Qualcomm Reference Device, the QRD, which is a smartphone that it builds with the latest processor in it. And it did that for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, it did that for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus, and it did it also now for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So we're able to compare like for like reference devices over the last year and see what the difference in performance is. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna cover CPU, GPU, and general system. Well, no more talk, let's look at the figures. So here is our first graph, and this is Geekbench 5. We've got single core and multi-core scores on here. We can see the single core score for the 8 Gen 2 using the uh, Qualcomm reference device is 1,489, and its multi-core score is 5,178. Now that means that for the single threaded score, that's a jump of 20% compared to the 8 Gen 1, and a jump of 13% compared to the 8 Plus Generation 1. So double figures, 20% uh, compared to the, uh, the normal Gen 1. So quite a big jump in performance there. And when we get to the multi-core score, we see a huge 38% uplift in performance compared to the original 8 Gen 1, and a 23% leap in performance compared to the 8 Plus Gen 1. Now those leaps in performance, both in single core and multi-core are impressive. The multi-core, particularly, we see such a huge update, 38% in one case there, because of course now you've got that one plus four plus three setup rather than a one plus three plus four setup. And I cover all of that uh, in my video. Let's take a quick look at a few other benchmarks. Here we've got Antutu. It's now 1.28 million compared to just over the million mark with the uh, 8th Gen uh, 1. And that actually gives you an uplift of 24%. So again, very impressive. Before we dive in deeper, it's worth mentioning you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains, and I also have a monthly newsletter. Go to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, but you will get the newsletter. When it comes to PC Mark, we're also seeing an uplift, not as significant as we see in the other benchmarks. We're now at 18,500, which is a 10% uh, uplift in performance compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Now, if we turn now to the GPU benchmark, starting with 3D Mark, we can see that the score now is 13,000. 596 for the 8 Gen 2 using the QRD, and that is an uplift of 30% compared to the 8 Gen 1 using the QRD. And finally, if we move over to GFX Bench, we can see, again, significant improvements, uh, particularly here in the Aztec High Tier OpenGL test. In fact, that is a 39% increase in performance from the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 all the way up to the Gen 2. So we can see there's some pretty impressive uh, uplifts in performance for the GPU, 30%, 39%, depending exactly on the benchmark. So overall, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 offering at least double digits increase in performance, often up to 20, 30% increase in performance, depending exactly what area it is that you're looking at. And on top of that, of course, you've got all those extra features that I did mention in my video. There'll be a link, well, just about everywhere to that other video. Okay, do tell me in the comments below, will you be buying a phone now that you've seen the benchmarks with the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2?